Hey folks, uh, back with part 7 of the Tiger Builders, might have called some of this last night. And I went to and then there was, I got to a part where I was going stuff on and there wasn't really much to do, except wait. So I've decided to leave it until the morning. Uh, I hope we're all well. And uh, <coughs> everything's getting cancelled just now. Uh, football's off, which is the right decision in my humble opinion. Uh, end of the day, people's lives are at stake, so uh, that's the right thing. Fifty thousand people going to Ibrox at the weekend to watch the old farm game. Uh isn't the best course of action when you've got a virus. And the thing is, everyone's got their own opinions on it and that's fine. But to me, this thing's killing people. And there's a lot of people out there just going, Ah, it's it's the fucking flu. I think it's more than that. When you've got over three hundred people dying or something, so it's not just the flu. That's my opinion, so I don't want people jumping in the bandwagon and saying, oh, what's this and that, and I really don't give a shit. Um, that's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it, so I think it's the right course of action to stop things. Uh, reduce the risk, really. So, anyway, with that, shit out of the way. Um, I'm going to be working on the covers for the tow cables, um, we're going to be putting these little butterfly nuts on, which I'm not looking forward to, because they'll be very fiddly. Um, I do have the other hatch to make, um, but I don't really need to do that on camera, because it's just a case of putting the viewer's periscope in, in the cover and going it down, and that's all I'm doing, because mines aren't going to be visible. So uh, I don't really need to have it on display. And then, about turn, and we've got some more butterfly nuts going on here. Um, these are how the the hooks should look once they're in. And uh, then we're on to the front plate, which I've already put the zimmer on. Uh, I did that last night and realised that there wasn't much else I could do on camera so I thought, do you know what, I'll just work in that tomorrow as well. So, what we are going to be doing is um, working on those little clasps, excuse me, which is on the B sprue. So we have one and two. Now, let me just have a wee look here. Uh, those little butterfly wing nuts. Where are we? Are here. <laughs> that's them there. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting to to put on. Um, but first things first, we're going to work on the class. And we're going to work in this side first. Um, so we'll start off down here, which is B18. And B18 is here. So I'm going to flip this over, get the detail on that side. Uh, use the blade for this because it'll be a neater cut. So. Again, as close as you can get it. And then that one. So, B18. And as you can see, it needs a little bit of clean up. And that's the way it goes on the, uh, on the bottom there. So, I'm going to clean this up. I 
Um, I want to wish Mike good luck <laughs> with his uh, mini art build. Um, the, I think it's a T55 he's building for the, the modern uh, group build thing that's going on. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, to say that the parts count is huge is an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least, uh, I've got a few mini art kits sitting there and like, wow, it's, <laughs> it really is uh, a lot, uh, and the parts count is ridiculous, to be fair. So, um, okay, so, because of the way the, uh, those parts are sitting here, um, when it looks, I'm just going to do mine sort of up on top. Um, which I had it positioned a minute ago. My body well moved it. Right, that'll do for me. I'm just going to glue. Oh God! Uh, this is gonna move. No, it's not. I'm just gonna glue these on top of the barrel cleaning rods. This stuff absolutely stinks, by the way. But it's good glue. Uh, I got it at a model show um, in Glasgow. It was the. What was it? Bella Houston model show. Uh, it's near Ibrox actually. Uh, so I got that and a, a few other things. That's where I got my my big tiger, uh, the hobby boss one, which I need to get another one because I actually don't know what I've done with it. Um, it was started, but I can't remember for the life of me what I did with it. It'll be there somewhere, but I don't know. Right, so now the butterfly nut goes, and I have I've put that one on because the butterfly nut is supposed to be on the inside. But what I'll do, I'll just put it on there. Why? Because it wasn't actually glued in the right place. Oh well. I'll just put a bit of filler here and I'll glue it on there. So, we're on to our first butterfly wing nut. Hmm. Uh, it's number 15. Which is these little fellas here. Now this one looks as though he's taken a trip. Where is it? Here, so we'll just cut this we fell off. Oh, there we go. Just shows you how delicate they are, it's just sprung off. Now, I'm gonna need my uh, little handy dandy tool. And of course, when I'm looking for it, I can't bloody well find it. Uh, there. Wax pencil. Okay, so this thing trying to get it picked up in the right way. So this is how it normally goes. It normally goes in this little walking thing here. But I'm gonna go in there. there. So I have to say as well, this uh, Mr. Hobby stuff, it does dry quicker than uh, the Tamiya Extra thing. So. No, 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 no. no I'm trying to get it to sit. Yeah, 
Glue's enough. This is going to be a bug up to to paint. I was imagine. It looks as though it's going to be a bugger to paint. I'm going to put another one, but there's a glue on there. No. That's that part on. It probably isn't right, to be fair. No, it doesn't look right. I'm just going to forfeit that one because I've put that on wrong. Rivet Coon has begun. <sighs> What the fuck are you doing? But I'm not a rubber counter and this isn't a professional build, it's a, just a sort of this is how I build. So that one's over there, so I haven't just discarded it and I'll try and put it on later and maybe use some CA glue to put that on. Um, so next one is going to be the other way. Again, which is B15. Uh, let's check this is right. No, that's 18. Or oh, was it B18? Yeah, it was. So B18 going at the rear here as well. Now, that's pump to fuck. Right. Uh, I'm hoping to get another video out tomorrow guys, uh, we'll just see how well we get on with this today. I'll try and not make too many mistakes. Now, the last one I buggered up, there's another little bit of clean up here. That is required. No. I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to do this and just. Hate working with tweezers. Uh, right, I'm gonna need to put this down here. No. I'm gonna need to put some more glue on here because that's probably a way now. Again, I don't think it's meeting. I think I've maybe put on the uh, bit of cleaning those to flush. Or not flush enough, sorry. So I'm gonna put some glue on there as well. Now, can I let that dry? And then, um, so we've got B17 up here. And B17, does it have one of those little fly nuts? I'm just going to look ahead here. Yeah, it does. So as you can see there, that's how it's supposed to look. So you get one on the inside, so the, the butterfly wing that goes on the inside. So, uh, I'm going to put those on. I don't know why it's not on the same page, because it's the same part. Anyway, so I'm going to put these two on while that's drying, and then we'll get the butterfly nut on, or attempt to put the butterfly nut on. Sounds better. No. I'm going to cut these two. Okay. 
okay. These are gonna be bloody muddy clean up. Maybe not too bad. Okay, so So that way it's going on in the end the butterfly knot is on the inside. Which is where it attaches to. So That's one of them one. And this bit is really pinnacky. It's probably the first sort of problem I've had. Well not problem, it's just so again the inside is going now. better that one's definitely better than that one but some of the smaller parts are not my strongest point of a build and that's why I was bringing that to your attention earlier good luck with mate because that's some of the mini art parts are very very delicate uh, and the box is packed flush to the top and it's full of plastic absolutely full uh, they are really, really detailed kits. Beautiful when they're done. Uh, there's a guy in the IDF group build at the moment. He's building the Tyrant 4, I believe. Um, full interior. And, uh, you know, the progress he's making on that is wow. So, Mike, if you're watching, check that guy out. I uh, don't know if he's got a channel, but he's got picture updates and stuff of his progress so it might help you out build um, so we've got the other ones down here both sides which is the 20 so we're going to come back down here and we have uh, B20 on both sides That's gonna hold our tow cables there. Um, now then, where are we? B20, which is here. And again, they look delicate, so I'm gonna be careful with that. Okay. And then this one. Ah, bent up. Oh, that isn't good. I'll repair that one. Okay, so. I might use the snips for this, but. Yeah, that's better. The snips instead of the blade. Okay. So once again, these are going to be a pain to clean up because of their size. I'm going to use them a little bit more rigid sanding stick. Just watched uh, Nigel's mod on bench. Uh, his review. For the Tacom Panzer 1, 116 scale. Wow. Definitely on the wish list. Uh, I don't know if it would even fit in the bench, but it's. 
<laughs> it's definitely there. Right, so these go on here. Now this is going to be the tricky part. Um, to see exactly where these go. And there we are. That's that on. Now you get your butterfly wing nut, which goes on as well. Now I'm just going to touch this here. The reason I put it at the side there is because the butterfly wing nut has got to go on there as well. So, uh, again, I might put them on with super glue because it'll be easier. And it'll reduce time for gluing and positioning and stuff. So once again, we're here. This is the one that I sort of damaged when I was cutting it. Okay. I'm just going to bend it back in a shape. Now, again, this is going to be difficult to uh, manoeuvre. That's why I was saying and make sure that the tool cables were back enough. Don't attach to my finger. That's there. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do it. So that's them on. And then you've got the same on the other side, but like I say guys, I'm not gonna do both sides on the camera because it, it isn't really required. I've got the little antenna mount here to put on. But again, I don't need to do that on camera. So, this butterfly nut over here should be able to be put on. I'm just going to use the same butterfly nut as I did earlier on. Put it on. No. I'm going to see how this looks. If it's going to go that one, that one. It's going to need to be put on with um, with super glue. I might actually have to consult my book to see how they actually go to help me out with that so um, that will be continued uh, in the next segment so what I'll do is we'll go down and we'll work on the uh, on the front plate um, now the front plate is going to be strange because the front plate is here but the Zim, you would have Zim on the bow mount as well. If I'm right, I don't know what I am. So C9 and C5 is going on this thing first. So, uh, where are we? Oh, that's the ace brew. That'll be why. Uh, right, where are we? C9. Which is the ball mount. Whatever. I'm leaving it a little bit flush with that because it'll need to be cleaned up because of the way the sprue attachments are. And C5, which is uh, the viewer slit. Okay, so we're going to clean those up, and then we're going to look forward because there should be Zim on the uh, on the bow mount. 
It looks like they admit that. Yeah, they do. Uh, where are we? Yeah. Unless it's on the Zimmerit sheet, but if not, I can add it in. It's not a problem, but. Just gonna have a quick look. Am I right in thinking? Yeah. So that's obviously the guard to put over the ball mount while you're doing the sim on it. If I'm right in saying that. We've also got this little one here, so. So uh, that's man-made zim for that, but strange. I thought that they would have encoded uh, a part with moulded on zim on it. That's, uh, that's strange. Because they've got moulded on zim for the viewing slits. I'm just going to have a quick look through here guys so I'm not making any mistakes here. There might be a molded on zim ball mount here. No, there's not. Yeah, Strange, but there's not. So we'll need to rectify that later. Anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to install it and then once it's installed we'll do the, uh, the touch ups to the Zim later again the clean up of this is annoying because uh, it's on the part, I understand that the, because of the shape of it, it might be difficult. Okay. So you give that a little sound now. Uh, the Zimmerit tools arrived, uh, one after the other actually. Um, let me see here, so let's go down there, that's fine. Uh, yeah, the Zimmer tools arrived, which are, I'm getting sidetracked anyway, got one from a uh, Royal Model, and we've got some from Passion Model as well. Um, so, I'll be doing a video on them in the next few days, hopefully. Uh, again, they look really good. Came from uh, China and Australia, and that's why they were took so long to arrive but uh, therefore that panther that Mr Mortram sent me so I'm all set to make a start on that it'll be my first interior kit so looking forward to that uh, this is the driver's viewing slit. Which is going to go in without any problems, hopefully. Yep. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So we're going to put 
button. Oh, that was close. Can I knock that all that? See that's really coming together soon, hopefully. Uh, so next is the machine gun mount. So you've got the ball mount, and then you've got the MG34 going through, and then the, uh, the little housing thing, which is going on. So we'll do that. And then I will turn the camera off, and I'll consult my book with uh, with that other part. And then I'll show you putting on the butterfly wing nuts, and then we'll be on to sort of for be on to getting the upper hull put together. Uh, so you see that coming together, the Zimmerick coat for assembly, and then we'll go into the turret. And once we're onto the turret, we should be sort of on the road to getting it to a level that I'm happy with. And then it'll be priming and painting and weathering and all that sort of stuff. All that good stuff. Now, uh, the ball mount is C7, which is here. We're going to cut this off. And the MG itself is a C33, which is here. Okay, so that's done now. I'm going to cut C6 out as well because that's the next part that we need to seal it in at the back. So, need my nail clippers. Take off most of the excess here. This is on the inside as well, so it's not going to be requiring as much clean up. Also, you need to clean it up to a certain degree so that it fits. But uh, you, know, you don't need to be specific with it. So it fits. Okay, so now we're going to cut off. And once again, guys, this is on the inside of the ball mount. So you're not going to need to clean it up too much. Oh! Saved by the flag. That's a demonstration of how easy it is for the carpet monster to appear. If you're just getting into this hobby, you will cuss it many a time. Believe you me. Right, so this part is going in here. No cement. So now we're cleaning up the MG34. And the MG34 needs to be a 
Hude oder ne? Because it's a sword piece. So the MG thirty four, unless you're going to cover it with, uh, you know, an MG cover or something, then you won't need to do this. But uh, you can use the hobby blades, but I am going to use my uh, my pin base. As you can see it looks slightly better. I will do a better job in that once it's in. Now we turn it around and get it in the uh, in the housing, which is meant to make this thing movable, and then. We are putting hold on. Now why is that not going on? Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Oh no, I'm not. What's that then? So the bow mount is indeed movable. But a snug fit, but I'm going to put some cement on it anyway. the MG out. So I'm going to move that in there I'm just going to put some uh, cement in the MG place that holds that in place. Okay. And there you go, that's the, uh, the front plate ready for installation and you have uh, the front plate ready to go on this. And then we're working on the Bosch headlight and stuff. So I'm going to turn the camera off now and in the next part we'll go on with the butterfly nuts um, after I've checked my references. Um, not for any rivet counting uh, or historical accuracy perspective, just to help me in how they actually worked on the kit, on the actual vehicle. Um, and then after that, we'll be getting the bulk of it done. So I'm hoping that the next one will be um, a lot longer in terms of the, the amount of stuff that gets done. Um, hopefully, uh, football's cancelled obviously as I said, so hopefully I'll get to work on this every day, um, at least for an hour or so, uh, so until the next one guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.